Hey, it's Mac with PriceActionTradingSystem.com, and it's Tuesday. It's August 28th. This will be our chart lesson for the day, and it was really kind of a low volume day. The trend was was pretty much down for the majority of the day. I mean, we had a little bit of a bounce here, but I mean, this this really lasted from 11 around 11 o'clock and into so three hours that's all the volume we had in three hours not much going on so it really got slow overall this was a range day i would call it even though we still had kind of a downward bias through up until around 11 o'clock i would say and then we just had this if you want to call that a bounce it's not much of one you can see we're really just kind of sideways today so uh, we did end up trading below the overnight lows wasn't by much though so but let's talk about the trades we'll back out a little bit here early on we had two legs up and so you might have considered when i came in at seven o'clock we were still trending up and there's no entries in here you really want to take there was a failed second entry short right here it would have been a good entry but that was around six o'clock or so too early i know i wasn't here and that's really a little bit too early to start trading the volume doesn't pick up till around 7 a.m central standard time you might could start trading between 6 and 6 30 and find some entries but i just i really don't recommend trading much earlier than around seven o'clock central standard time that is so make sure you get the time frame on the um you know the time the correct time zone on that but um because we did have two legs up and look how far we are away from the EMA. We had a little bit of a close outside. It's questionable. Um, but still being that far away after two legs up, you might take a trade back to the EMA. We're way overdone to come back. I think it's a little risky without it, until you wait for a lower high, which didn't come till here. And then I don't think you want to be going short there. You'd be better off to maybe look for a long here. That's why I marked this. There's a second entry long here. Looks like a fairly decent signal bar, but notice it's just an inside bar to that neg to that bearish bar. And then notice prior to that, we had three matching highs right there. So that would be about the only clue that, hey, you may stay out of this. Just wait and see what happens. Wait for a little better entry, something a little clearer than that. We've just been going sideways, so you had a little failed break out there. Not enough that I want to ride it back down at all. If anything, I'm still looking for longs. But um, if you went long right here, when this ended as a doji, it's pretty much congestion almost at that point. Uh, you definitely have a failed second entry long. So with one leg down and a two-legged swing, I'd look for a measured leg down. So I would definitely go short there. And if you were long, Maybe you reverse and you make it back real quick, but you see a measured leg puts you down to at least here. Um, we didn't get there before we bounced, and we ended up going much further than that in the end. Um, but that would have been my basic target right there uh, once we headed down. Uh, notice there's a new high here, so you push down first entry long, you push down second entry long. So you got a failed second entry long with a short right there off a double top there's also a little double top there it's really a double test too as you can see right there notice that we made the high we tested it once we tested it twice and you got a little failed break above it i like going short right there and at that point i would look for there's a couple ways you do this first i'd look for a measured move like that and then I would also measure this whole first two legs because we may get another leg or two down. And you can see that was pretty close to being your target right there. So a couple of different ways to look for your target on that one. Um, you do get another pull back here. Not a very good signal bar. You, you got one. This looks pretty good, but this is really your signal bar. You might have let it break below this one and dropped a lemon order back and look for a little better entry but I'd probably want a second entry short and you really never get one here you get one right here but you got that trend line working up you've already had a close and two legs down so I'd want to see 
a lower high and maybe a, a play out of a trend line or something and notice this trend line plays out you get a close outside of move to a new high followed by a lower high and a relatively bearish bar right there so that's where I would go short and you get another nice little move down there trend line off those first couple of swing couple of bars which hits the next swing and then you kind of get a close outside and you low and then you're bouncing again uh, you might have considered a long right here as well Notice that this was your overnight lows and you get that failed break. And this is basically a double bottom and this could be considered a high or low. You have had a close outside and a couple of legs down, even though this is not anywhere near a measured leg to that. So you may get another push down, but the odds are this is going to come back to the EMA at a minimum. So you may consider going long there on this higher low with a fairly bullish bar, but I'm not crazy about it because it is into the, what where i had you can see that there's definitely support right across there at that level and this is you got three matching bars there but that little trap there being that away from the ema you're probably coming back to it so if you want to be a little aggressive it's probably worth the risk there because you may catch the low of the day by doing that and it does come back and of course we already talked about that short and now you've got your break and a couple of legs down. So if you get a reversal pattern, you want to probably pay attention to it. Notice that we bounce here. You get a first entry. You move up. You get back inside there, uh, that overnight low area. You actually push through it this time. Notice how we couldn't get through there, here, here, here. And then we finally push through, pull back, bounce right off that trend line. Everything's still closing inside of it. Failed second entry short. So I like going long there. This time hoping you're going to catch the move back to the other side doesn't turn out that way but it's a it's good for a scalp and of course you get your clothes outside and move to a new high and that just kind of takes you into this little sideways but notice there's a new low there first entry second entry so there's a failed second entry short there you're going sideways it's a failed break out of that low uh, out of that little congestion area we traded up into that so you may consider a long right there it would have been good for a scalp nothing more again it's a little bit aggressive because it's just so sideways it's getting close to two o'clock um what should have probably already had a reversal hadn't at this point so prices are really struggling to go higher look at all those highs across there you can see them all the way across if you use that close it's just a little risky there's not really enough room here to get out, but you'd probably be looking more at those highs. That'd be what I'd be worried about, and this high being the one I'm really worried about. Um, but anyway, you might have risked that one, and it would have worked, but I'm not crazy about it, like I said. So um, again, it's just kind of a quiet day. We had a fairly clear downtrend right through here. And you might have looked at this as a little spiking channel. There's a possibility you could have played your trend line off of here. You really still get to the same place almost. Um, you might have even adjusted it here. Uh, if anything, that would have helped you. It might have helped you with this trade, but I don't think you need any help there. It would have probably made you think about a short here. You don't really get a good setup, though, so it doesn't change anything. The only thing it might have helped was with this short right here. And you still don't really have a close outside this trend line. So I doubt I'd even still go short. So I don't think it really changes anything. But basically you got a break here and you end up with two legs down. As you can see if you end up measuring that one right there. And then there's your next leg down. And it's almost a perfect two measured legs down. And then you get your, what looks like you ought to be expecting a reverse. It looks like it's going to reverse. And it does end up working higher. And we're still working higher even after the reopen at 3.30 or whatever. But there's no momentum here at all. It's just no volume, really. Nothing much happening. So, um, And that was it for today. And I'm not going to drag this out. There's not much else to talk about. It's just kind of a low volume. The markets, I mean, we're back at 2,900. You know, we're already at 2,900. We were just talking about 2,800 not long ago. And then we had a big sell-off, and we've just gone straight back up since then, right on through 2,800, and now we're 
testing 2900 so generally when you get around those century marks they're very um they're they're very emotional areas and prices will work around them they won't they generally won't just push right through those areas they'll test those areas and you can see how we're working back and forth around 2900 a year uh, yesterday and today and, and a lot of times prices will do that for a little while before they'll either sell off again or they'll continue to move higher so pretty typical and that's probably why it's slowing down a little bit people are you know we're starting to make moves into new highs and so forth and people get a little leery about buying into new highs because you don't have any previous price action to kind of set your bearings where your strong resistance is at and so forth so uh, we'll just have to see what happens but uh, this market continues to march on but anyway i'm gonna wrap it up we'll be back again to do it tomorrow hope you had a good trading day i'll see you tomorrow this is mac with priceactiontradingsystem.com and we'll see you next time.